Do you think LA as we know it is over? Um, there's my cat. There's a cat. <laughs> um, excuse me, Ollie. Um, hello. Ollie, you're adorable. Ollie. Ollie's my three-legged cat. Aw. I had to amp. I didn't amputate it, but he had to have it amputated because it was broken. Aw, buddy, is he doing all right? Yeah, he's doing great. He's like he's runs very quickly for a three-legged cat. Um, L.A. done. Um. Not necessarily done, but like as we like, do you, do you think it'll go back to what it was? I guess is my yeah. That's I don't think that, so. I mean, everyone really? now is afraid of the AI stuff, so that's coming in. Um, so that's a whole nother level of stuff, you know. That I think they're going to try to eliminate eliminate writers, eliminate people doing certain jobs, and. I mean, every, I think the world, the world is changing, but because LA is the writing capital and the AI is a big deal, I mean, I think it's not going to take that long for them to be able to come up with really, I, I want to say that our creativity wins out. I want to say that, like in that nobody yeah. could write like, like an artist or a writer, but I don't know. You know, maybe for certain shows you can. Very simple, you know, cartoons or simple um, reality. You know what I mean? Like, a, there's definitely a place that it's going to come up very quickly for those areas. Maybe not for really moving intellectual shows, but... I, yeah. I think it's so hard to predict because it's like, how how could any of us have predicted you know, smartphones evolving the way they did. Yeah. But right now, my my personal take, what's, what worries me more about AI at the moment is using people's likenesses indefinitely and uh, things yeah. like that, more so than, oh, AI is going to be able to churn out a script. You mm -hmm. know, AI cannot think no. creatively. It cannot right. develop a story. And right, right now, even for the most basic like i think ai i think it's not out of the realm within the next handful of years that ai will be able to to develop a reasonable press release it already can technically do that but it needs so much yeah, feeding yeah. from mm -hmm. a human and then so much massaging from a human that it's almost right. like it, it's almost more work it's almost yeah. more work to like feed the robot and then clean up after the robot than it is to just write the freaking press release yourself. So that's true, I, but you could pay it less. You could pay it less, but, but, <laughs> but don't, I mean, you got to pay that human that's doing the feeding too, though. That's true, but that could be like minimum wage because <laughs> it doesn't have to be. <laughs> well, they're already writer. trying to do that. <laughs> they're already doing that. Yeah. Cause it does. No, I, I see what you're saying. I mean, I, 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 I think that, yeah, the concern is definitely there. Yeah. Um, I just think it, it can be. And, and I think that's why people are so adamant. It's more like, let's nip it in the bud now. Right, you know, right, like, like right. maybe in two years, AI will be able to write a script. Maybe not. It's really tough to say. But like, we need to nip it in the bud now because especially since everybody remembers or at least is aware of in 2007 nobody knew what the streamers were going to become mm -hmm. and some people said ah this is nothing other people said hey this is something the former group was wrong and but they didn't fight for the residuals and now look look at where mm -hmm. we're at you know? know so so I, I think part of it is let's get ahead of the curve this time and make sure we nip ai in the bud whatever it's going to be capable of Right, right. And I feel like, you know, this is what off the track, but it is and it isn't like people go in for like artificial insemination, right? Women, because they just they want to use a donor sperm and not not have a husband or they don't have a husband or whatever. They want to have the sure. kid alone. I feel like soon you're going to be like you're going to be able to download sperm and get yourself pregnant. Whoa, like download. Yeah, like you're going like, to be like able from online. Yeah, well, How... you it might be delivered by a drone. 
So an, an Amazon drone's gonna drop off some jizz. That's like exactly. That's what and you think's gonna happen. That's you might be happen. right. And then, and I won't be around to see it, but I'll be up there going, "I told them." And then, so there's I the guess. jizz drone. I knew it. <laughs> right. That was me. I called. That was it. me. I could have been famous. I could have been rich. And then the, somehow they're gonna create the computer where you can, you know, inseminate yourself. Mark my words. I hey I. <laughs> I don't doubt you. I mean, I, I <laughs> you don't have nobody else to have sex. No, no, no mess. You know, oh, you just that's like what movie was that? That was Demolition Man, right? Was that Demolition Man? I don't know. I didn't see that. Oh, okay. It, it was one of those like kind of like future uh, dystopian type movies where it's like uh -huh. they don't have they don't have sex anymore. It's all it's all virtual. Right. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. It was, I think it was devil. It might've been something else, but, but it, it was, it was one of those types of movies like, like from the nineties, but uh -huh. now you're, you're kind of, it, it's sort of eerie how much they've been accurate on here in 2023. That's right. <laughs> so you're like, well, we're still having sex, but that might, oh boy. What if they, they might phase that out. That's That'll right. What if, well, what about the sex robots that are coming in, you know, that are supposedly something that's, down the pike, you know, the sex robots, the, you know, no. And also I remember, do you remember the, it's like an old Woody Allen, one of his first movies where they had this orgasm machine. Do you remember that? Like they I went do into, not. oh, okay. It's like, I forgot which one. It's like one of his early movies and they go into this machine, two people, they wouldn't have sex. They would just, it was like an orgasm machine and they just come out happy. Like they had orgasms just by being in this machine. So Woody Allen was onto something. I, I'd be okay with something like that. I, I mean, I, I feel like that's a, a perfectly fine inv invention. Yeah, we have things to do. I have wash, go to Target. I don't have time for nonsense.